that I think quite beautifully, you see two of the diagrams are green and one's red. So the green diagrams are good, okay? The red diagram is what you don't want to do. So if you guys remember when I was activating your timelines in your subconscious, I had you guys go up and down and play around with that. So I'm gonna have another video just for that part specifically, just to nail that in. So when you are above your event, the most important thing for you to remember is to stay above the event, okay? The, the, when you go higher, you feel less of the emotions. When you go lower, you get closer to the learnings. So you have to figure out where is that comfortable distance where you are far away enough from the event where you're not feeling the emotional negative charge of it, but you're close enough to it where you can actually gather the learnings, right? The empowering realizations that are going to allow you to break through those negative beliefs and feelings. So that is something that your subconscious mind will guide you in the process. And anytime you start feeling those emotions, right? Make sure that you're lifting yourself up higher and higher above the event. And if you're feeling good, you feel detached, you feel dissociated, you can kind of play around and bring yourself down a little bit closer to the event. My word of caution to you is just to be cautious, stay way above the event, especially if it's specifically triggering. So if we're dealing with trauma, if we're dealing with an event that has just a lot of negative emotional charge, it is probably gonna be better for your healing if you stay further away from that event subconsciously in that space, okay? What we want to stay away from is you being associated into that event because this is how people get re-traumatized. This is how people feel that negative emotion that they don't necessarily have to feel in order to be healed. And I'm not, and let me take back what I said, you're not going to be re-traumatized. It's just, it's not gonna serve you to feel the negative emotions. You don't need to feel the negative emotions to get the healing. And remember, timeline is powerful, and one of its best, best points is the fact that it's essentially painless. So we wanna to try to keep you out of the event, okay? We wanna keep you out of the event when you're getting your learnings from your subconscious. You do not wanna be associated. You do not wanna feel the negative emotions and beliefs because it's not gonna feel good and it might dilute the learnings. So it's better for you to be above the event. Now, if you do find yourself inside the event, no worries, I'm going to give you some techniques you can use to bring yourself out of the event easily and effortlessly because this entire process is completely in your control. I'm gonna give you some anchors, some dissociation anchors. If you don't know what an anchor is, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it, but essentially you can tap your knuckle and you'll shoot straight out of the event. I know that sounds really, really cool and I'm kind of excited to teach you guys. So in summary, stay out of the event, we don't need to feel the negative emotions. Um, it can be a little challenging sometimes because society and typical therapy methods kind of train us to believe we need to feel the negative emotions in order to heal. And timeline teaches the exact opposite. We do not need to feel the pain in order to heal. So you might feel yourself kind of going against your own nature. It's completely okay. Just make sure you're above the events and I'm sure you are going to have an amazing and powerful transformation as you are in control of this entire process. Remember, everybody has an imagination so they can reap the healing benefits of timeline. You do not need to see the details of the events, just whatever you see is right to you. And for this process, for you to have the best results with timeline, it is better for you to be at cause where you accept that you are capable of changing your beliefs. Awesome job, guys. Let's get into the next one. Woo. What was that? Huh? What was that? Awesome job, guys. Let's get into the next one. Uh, oh, no. Is it uh, for your clients? Yeah. It's timeline. Oh. What's up, guys? 156 of you were watching that. What do you guys think? Wasn't that great time? So that's all. It's, it's all the preparation. You ready? Mm, yeah, um, let's see. I know, I'm, I'm bossing right now. Hello from Iowa, hello. What do you guys think of that? So basically, I'm teaching my clients how to 
do very powerful subconscious healing very quickly. So there's a technique, there's a process. Timekeeper, what was amazing about it? Uploading your recording. So yeah. Do you do that through meditation? No, Luxter. It's not even close to meditation. This is this is just hypnosis and timeline and NLP. Everything. Timekeeper was I kind of mind blowing what I was talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this can be used, this technique, right? Well, I'm teaching, I can teach time NLP timeline techniques, but I'm a timeline therapy practitioner. So the actual reprogramming is going to be the practitioner reprogramming, but me educating them is like the NLP timeline techniques. What's up, Mag? How are you doing? What's up, everybody? It's nice. What is nice about it? What's up, everyone? So now I need to do a at cause hypnosis. Download. Download, download. Yes. Okay, that video's done. What's up, everybody? Good to hear, Mag. Finally got me live. Ooh, I'm here. Do you have any questions for me? What's up everyone coming in? I'm Julia, I'm a board certified hypnotherapist and NLP coach. And I help people get rid of the viruses in their subconscious mind and step into the new identity as their best version of themselves so that they can easily and effortlessly manifest success and wealth and happiness. Cleaning out the closets, wow. What's wow? You don't acknowledge me. Hi Dee. Hey, Momo. What's up, y'all? Do, 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 do. Yeah, guys, oof. how long does it take for reprogramming to start working? Larry, my clients see immediate results within the first week. Let's get down to it, yeah. Hit me with it, Mag, what you got? So I have a three-month program, guys, called the Million Dollar Mind Frame, which this is part of, right? And in this program, we do everything from childhood healing, trauma healing, relationship reprogramming, smoking cessation, removing phobias, getting rid of limiting beliefs, um, getting rid of self-sabotage, procrastination, building consistency, discipline, anything you want to work on, pain removal, absolutely. So if you guys wanna learn more about the Million Dollar Mind Frame, and learn how to get rid of anxiety, depression, all that good stuff, press five in the comments. Do, do, do. What's, what's been up with you time? Oh, perfect, okay. So I have this downloaded. Let's go. So Larry, I'm hitting you with a follow back. Go ahead and DM me, million dollar mind frame. Pagan, I'm hitting you with a follow back. DM me, million dollar mind frame. Artisan bread. I think we're talking, right? I'm trying to figure out a time to talk. You've been so busy, tired lately. Oh yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Everything okay? Timelines in your subconscious, I had you guys go up and down and play around with that. So I'm gonna have another video just for that part specifically, just to nail that in. So when you are above your event, this is gonna be so insane. This NLP timeline stuff is insane, you guys. Insane. So the concept is getting to the root of your, um, your block, your mental block. And it lives in your subconscious. So we can use hypnosis and NLP to actually locate that root because your subconscious knows where it is. So we use this process of timeline to quantum leap through your subconscious to the spot in your psyche we need to go to, to release the beliefs and do the healing. And we can use this with phobias, um, anxiety, reprogramming, limiting beliefs, trauma, negative emotions, 
unresolved negative emotion. So it's just like, it's absolutely mind blowing stuff. My favorite book, Larry, for like reprogramming. I mean, my favorite book is the big book of NLP. You kind of need to have some training to get it. Um, I would say the big book of, book of hypnotherapy. Book of hypnotherapy is a good one. Narcissism, definitely time. Oh, so much narcissism reprogramming. That would fall under, uh, well, is that childhood or is that partner? Because we do both. Oh, Subconscious Mind, Larry. Have you read The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph? The mind is very interesting. Is one consciousness. Actually, cool, Aaron, they're very separate. Your conscious mind accounts for 5% of your mind. Your subconscious mind accounts for 95% of your mind. And your conscious mind can only act based on the programming in your subconscious mind. So it's kind of a loop between the two of them. Like the conscious is always checking in to the subconscious to see how to act and respond and do its part, right? And the subconscious is always checking the conscious and keeping it from doing certain things if it's not aligned with the programs. I'll give you an example. Consciously, you might want to make money, but subconsciously, you don't believe you're worthy of money. So subconscious, so your subconscious is gonna block your conscious from making any, taking any action or recognizing money making opportunities, right? And then your conscious mind is checking with the programming and going, oh, we don't believe that we can make money. Okay, so then I can't take this opportunity. I have to self-sabotage this. So it's actually, they're very separate, but they're communicating simultaneously all the time with each other. Does that help? Great explanation. Thanks, Bert. Don't really know where to begin. We can start with self-sabotage as a real bitch. Mackin, what if I told you that's so easy to break through with the right tools? Self-sabotage is actually trying to protect you. It's a protective mechanism from your subconscious. So there's something, whatever you're self-sabotaging, 